Question six says, drugs you are used to treat cardiovascular disorders, diseases of the heart and blood vessels. Question six a says, what is a drug? Now this may seem like a pretty easy answer, but it's a definition that you should be able to recall. And a drug is a chemical that affects the body's chemistry. Remember that definition because it's important. 6b says people can be treated for cardias, cardiovascular dis diseases with statins or aspirin. Information about these two drugs is given in the table. Statins are only available on prescription from doctors. In studies, 30,000 people were monitored over several years. Statins were found to reduce the rate of non-fatal heart attacks by around 30%. Approximately 0.1% of patients suffered from serious muscle damage and 0.01% suffered from kidney failure. Statins reduce blood cholesterol, which builds up in the walls of blood vessels. The cost of treating patients with statins could vary between 150 and 500 pounds per year, depending on the type of cardiovascular disease being treated. So the key points to highlight from the statins is that in studies, 30,000 patients were monitored over several years. Statins were found to reduce the rate of heart attacks by about 30%. They do have side effects varying from 0.1% to 0.01%, and they cost around 150 to 500 pounds, and they're only available on prescription. Aspirins can be brought over the counter. Treatments with aspirin cost up to £15 per year. In the studies of 1,000 patients, aspirin was found to cause bleeding in the stomach in around 0.5% of patients, and there was a slightly increased risk of blood, poor blood clotting at cuts. There was a slight increased risk of damage to blood vessels in the brains of older patients. Aspirin was found to reduce the risk of non fatal heart attacks by 31%. So now let's have a look at the key things. So this is an over-counter treatment, so you don't need a prescription. Anyone can buy aspirin. It costs £15 a year, which is much cheaper than statins. In a study of 1,000 patients, aspirin was found to cause bleeding to around 0.5% of patients, which is much higher than the risk suffered from statins. But it did reduce the risk of, of non-fatal heart attacks by 31%. So it's 1% more effective than statin. Question 6b says, would you recommend statins or aspirin for the treatment of cardiovascular disease? In the answer, you should give your re recommendation and use the information in the table to support your recommendation by making a comparison of two drugs. And this question is a six mark question. So there's a few things you need to consider. There is no correct, there's an important thing to remember in this question, there's no correct answer. You're not going to get mark down if you put statins or aspirin either of them is the correct answer you could even say neither the important marks come from being able to back up your recommendation so let's say you recommend statins why would you recommend statins well let's go back and have a look at the information first of all the very first thing is that there's a 30,000 patient study here for statins and only a 1,000 study of patients for aspirin. So the first point to make is that larger study. The second thing to mention would be much lower chance of side effects. You can also say that statins reduce the blood cholesterol level, which aspirin doesn't. And also your point to make is that it's monitored by doctors. However, if you picked aspirin, then the first thing you can say is that it's cheaper, it's only £15 per year. There's a 1% increase, 1% extra decrease in non fatal heart attacks.
and you could talk about how statins cause lots of damage and potentially kidney failure. So any of those, so all you, so the important thing to remember is that choose whichever one, but make sure you back it up thoroughly, and that's what's going to get you the full marks and being able to justify your argument. 